Hi everyone, this is the first video for the first lesson of the Equations and Inequalities pack. It's split into three lessons, so we'll probably cover that in the first lesson, we'll cover that in the second lesson, and we'll cover that in the third lesson. Right, so let's crack on with it then. So it says, on your calculator, alright, so we can use our graphical calculators, it all works. We can use our graphical calculator to solve simultaneous equations. So it says, first of all, you've got to rearrange them. So my 3y minus 1 equals 2x, and my y equals 4x plus 7. I have to rearrange it. Now I'm going to write on the board, it's going to take off the calculator. If you look, it's x's, y's, equals a number. If, uh, if I go onto the calculator, if I do equation, oops, so I do equation, and I do F1 for simul, simultaneous, I've got X and Y as my unknowns, so it's two unknowns. So all I'm going to do is put the coefficients in. If you look, it says AX plus BY equals C. So x is y's equals numbers. So I'm going to put the numbers in. So minus 2, x -y, 3, x -y, 1, x -y is the top line. Minus 4, x -y, 1, x -y, 7 is the bottom line. Just press x -y a couple of times and it gives us a coordinate. So it crosses at minus 2, 1. Um, perfect. So then it says, use your calculator, so you want to have a go at this now, don't you? Um, put them for x's, y's equals numbers. Let's see if they've done that. And these, you hope they have done. Great. So we want x's, y's equals numbers. So we'll have 3x, 4y equals 29. x minus 4y equals minus 17. Same idea with this one. 3x minus 2y is 13, and minus x plus y is minus 5. Or I can switch the signs on that one now. You can have x minus y is 5. I'll give you this same answer. Uh, so that one would be 3x minus 2y is 10. And I might actually take the y over there and take the y over there. Which is what I really should have done with the bottom one in a second. So 3x minus y is 11. There you go. Double check my rearranging. Don't you? Uh, so that's, that's that one done using the symbol function on your calculator. So you never have to do that ever again. So now look at these. So this time, so I've got a nonlinear equation, which is this part here. No, it's not a straight line. And I've got a straight line. So, like the simultaneous bit, you can't really use it. So, it says rearrange the linear one. So, I'm going to sub it in and, and remove something. Looking at this, it's easier to rearrange it for y. And then I'm going to replace any y in the original equation with an 8 minus 3x. So, I've got 3x squared plus 8 minus 3x, all squared, is 28. Then I want to expand the bracket and rearrange it, simplify it, rearrange it into a three-term quadratic. So I've got a 3x squared, I've got a 64, I've got multiplying together is minus 24, I'll double it is minus 48, plus 9x squared is 28. Uh, so if I rearrange it down to zero, so we have 12x squared minus 48x uh, plus, what's that going to be? That's a dodgy plus. It'll be 36 is equal to zero. In the olden days, we would have divided through by, ooh, what's it going to be? Three or four? Four, isn't it? Is it four? Um, and then solved it. Uh, so, you know, just solve it like factorising. 
we can use our calculator again. So I'm not sure if by this time we've used poly or not. So if I press exit a few times, I've got polynomial F2 for poly. So it's a quadratic, so it's degree 2 because it's x squared. So the first number is 12 in front of the x squared. Then I've got minus 48 in front of the x and then 30. So oh, poly. Barney's board is not set up right. 36 there. So that gives me the coordinate. Uh, so it gives me the two. Uh, gives me the two x values there, doesn't it? So x is 3 and x is 1. There. So that gives me the two solutions. And now if I just sub it into the easy equation, so if I sub it into the y equals 8 minus 3x, okay. So when x is 3, it's going to be 8, take 9, so y is minus 1. So we've got 3 comma minus 1. And when x is 1, that will give me y as 5. So 1 comma 5, there we go. And I've got, I've got my two coordinates. That's that bit done. So let's look at this one. So now I've got a quadratic in a straight line. So similar idea, exact same idea as this really, just slightly less complicated. Uh, right, so let's go. So I want to replace the y here with 4x plus 3. I'm going to rearrange it, set it equal to zero, and then stick it into poly. So just a reminder about poly again. I should just pause the video and realign the board. So one minus seven minus eight gives me x is minus one and x is eight. If you look, that kind of corresponds with the picture nicely. And then if I put it into the y equals 4x plus 3, where x is minus 1, that's 4 lots of minus 1 plus 3, so that's going to be minus 1, isn't it? Like so that gives me coordinate minus one minus one, and then when x is eight, it's four lots of eight plus three, so that's going to be thirty-five. Eight times thirty-five. There we go. So that's that page done. There's a question for you on the next page. Uh, so same idea, I'm going to put the 2x plus 2, where the y is there. So be careful when you expand the brackets. There we go. I'm on 8 minutes 51 for this bit, so I'm going to stop the video there. That should be quite a nice new one. Okay. Right, I'll stop it there.